Hi everyone, I'm Rincey and I am one of the contributing editors over at Book Riot. So I live in the suburbs of Chicago, not in Chicago proper, but I love the city of Chicago. I love living here. Even though I live in the suburbs, I spend way too much time in the city itself because there's just so much to do, so much to see, and one of the many great things about Chicago is the fact that we have an abundance of like literary based things. So I thought it would be kind of fun to sort of highlight some of those things in some videos. Now when I was originally thinking about doing this video, I was going to do sort of like the best or like the top bookstores or something like that, but then my list was like 30 items long so that wasn't going to happen. Instead of doing like an overview of Chicago, I'm thinking of doing this into parts and so in this video I'm going to be talking about five different places that are located in basically the loop which is like the immediate downtown area of Chicago when you think of Chicago, if you don't know anything about it, think of like the places where the museums are located, where the beans at, right in the hub and the heart of the city. So those are the places that I'm going to be highlighting. Like I said, there's a lot in Chicago and so I'm going to try to break it up into different neighborhoods. Definitely leave a comment if you end up liking this video and want to see more of this because like I said, there's plenty for me to talk about here. So the first place that I'm going to talk about is probably one of my favorite bookstores in the entire city and that is Open Books. Open Books is actually a non-profit bookstore. They help run a bunch of different literacy programs here in Chicago as well as donate books to different like classrooms and areas that just need books. They are actually a company that Book Riot has partnered with in the past. If you aren't aware, every year Book Riot picks one charitable organization to donate a portion of their revenue to. Either 2014 or 2015 Open Books was that charitable organization. They recently moved to a new location in the West Loop which is a part of the Literature Center which is this sort of hub for a whole bunch of different literary nonprofits and organizations to sort of host events, um, have different like tutoring sessions and things like that. Kids who are looking for it, they have a bunch of different writing programs that they sponsor, things like that. So this is a bookstore that is primarily a used bookstore. Um, like I said, they are a nonprofit bookstore, so they receive donations of books from people and then they resell that and then the profits from that end up going to fund all these programs. But they do have a selection of new books as well. They provide a certain percentage off. I believe it's around 15% off the list price, which is really nice as well. But I always really enjoy going in there just because it's such a fun space. They have colorful bookshelves throughout the entire store. They have a bunch of different seating areas. They also have a really great looking children's section that is pretty large. Again, it is a used bookstore, so if you're going there looking for something super specific, it might not be there. But it's mostly one of those places where you sort of just trove the shelves and see what you can find. Most of their paperbacks are less than $10. Usually they're in like the $6 to $8 range. If they have hardbacks, they're usually right around $10. And a lot of times they have like pretty new releases of books. It's also located right next to Oshavelle, which has one of the best burgers, not just in Chicago, but in the country. And is also next to uh, The Girl and the Goat and Little Goat, which is run by Stephanie Izzard, who won Top Chef a few years ago. She's one of the big Chicago chefs. Um, so, you know, head over to Open Books and then go wait in line for like two hours for an Oshavelle burger. It all just works out so well. <laughs> Another independent bookstore that's located in downtown Chicago is Afterwards, which is another new and used bookstore. This is a bookstore that I don't hear people talk about very often, but it's located like right in the heart of downtown off of State Street. But it definitely is there if you are someone who's visiting Chicago and you're only going to be downtown. This is a great place to end up checking out. They actually have two floors. The top floor, um, when you walk in, they have like display tables with their different like categories of things that they are choosing to display at that time. They, and they have like a children's section, a graphic novel and comic book section, as well as a young adult. But then you go downstairs and that is just where it all is laid out. Just all of their fiction, all of their nonfiction, just down in the basement. And it's so fantastic. Like I said earlier, it's both new and used. And so you are basically just digging through the shelves, trying to see what you can find. In my experience, when I'm looking through the shelves and I find something that's a pretty new release, it most likely is a new book. Um, and they have like marks on the tag so you can tell which ones are new and which ones are used. And their new books are priced at list price. So they are going to be the full like 15 to 20 dollars depending on what the book is. But you can dig through and they have a wide variety of fiction and nonfiction. They have 
large genre sections. So I feel like if you have the time to sort of dig through a used bookstore selection, this would be a great one to check out, especially if you don't really want to leave the main downtown area. Another option that is basically in the downtown area is Sand Meyers Bookstore. Now this is technically located in Printer's Row. This area is actually called Printer's Row because it was sort of like a printing hub in the Midwest when it was originally founded. Now obviously none of those places exist anymore, but there is a really great bookstore there. It's also the neighborhood where the big Chicago Printers Row Lit Fest happens every year, which is really fantastic as well. But Sandmeyer's Bookstore is a smaller indie bookstore that seems to be perfectly curated for the neighborhood that it's located in, which is something that I always really like in indies. They don't have a super huge selection, and most of their selection tends to be more towards the front list end of things. The paperbacks that they do have are either like the really popular paperbacks that bookstores just kind of always need to have in stock, or it's like the more newer paperback releases. So if you're looking for something that's like super old or you like to find like really unique gems, this is not necessarily the bookstore for you, but if you are looking for a really well curated indie bookstore, this one is definitely one worth checking out. They also have like the normal fun stuff that most indie bookstores have, like notebooks and pens, and they have these really cute buttons that they had the last time that I was there and I really wanted to buy all of them, but I restrained myself. But I just really enjoyed this bookstore. I think it's just because I really enjoy those sort of really curated bookstores that do a really good job of knowing their audience and knowing what their neighborhoods are going to want to be reading and sort of stock their shelves with that stuff. And then just up the block from Sandemeyer's bookstore is my favorite building in the city of Chicago and that's the Harold Washington Library. Now I am someone who is a fan of libraries in general but this building is just so fantastic. It has all of the things that you would normally love about a library. It has great resources, but this library is larger than most. It has nine complete floors. It also houses a lot of really fantastic art. When I was there this past time, I was going the escalator up to, I believe, the second floor, and I saw this sort of like silver art installation on the ceiling, and I just thought, saw it and I was like, oh, that looks really cool. And then when I got to the second floor and I could see it like straight on, I realized that they were dog tags that were hanging from the ceiling and they had this whole display where they had a dog tag representing every U.S. soldier who had died during the Vietnam War and then they had an interactive screen so you could pick every dog tag and find out information about every single soldier, which I thought was just so crazy. But yeah, there's just art scattered throughout the entire library. But I have to say that the main reason why I love the library so much is because the ninth floor is the winter garden, I believe is what they call it, or winter reading area. And it is just a full glass ceiling and the light just pours in and it is gorgeous. And on that floor they also have information about the library itself as well as its namesake, Harold Washington, who was the first black mayor ever elected into office in the city of Chicago. So they have a lot of information about him, stuff from his own life, things that he had owned, you know, quotes that he had said in his very speeches, things like that. It's just really, really fantastic. So if you are ever in Chicago, I highly recommend checking it out. I also think that that space is also just really great if you need some time to rest and sort of recharge either yourself or your electronics. It's, you know, really peaceful because it is a library, but like that top floor especially, I feel like you can still experience the beautiful sun streaming in through the windows. It's just really, really beautiful and I want to just live in there. <laughs> And the final place I want to highlight is the Newberry Library. Now, unfortunately, when I was out and about in the city recording footage for this, the library was actually closed. They're closed on Sunday and Mondays, so I don't have any footage from the inside, but just trust me when I say that this is a gorgeous building inside and out. The Newberry Library is a research library, and it houses, like, some of the largest collections of like historical maps, more than a million books and like more than a couple million different manuscript pages, things like that. Like it's a very large library and it's really fantastic and it's very highly used. They also have a really great book sale, which is how I actually went to the library the first time. I think, I don't know if they have it more than once a year. I know they have it at least every summer and that's when I usually go. And they have it set up throughout the entire library and it's so fantastic to just go from like room to section to room to section seeing all the different books that they have on sale. I think they have a bookstore that's open all year round as well so you can always check that out too. But it's a really really fantastic library. If you find yourself in sort of the more north part of the downtown Chicago area, 
I highly recommend at least like walking by it and seeing it. It's a really beautiful building. There's a park next to it. So you can kind of just like hang out in that area as well. So those are just five recommendations that are all located in the loop. Like I said, there is so much in the city of Chicago. You could spend your entire life here and not see it all. I've lived my entire life here and I still haven't seen it all yet. If you have been to Chicago or you live in Chicago and you visited any of these places, let me know down in the comments below what you guys liked about them. Or if you visited other places, either other bookstores, comic book stores, museums, anything that's sort of like bookish related, definitely leave that down in the comment section as well. I'd love to hear if there's anything I'm missing out on. Like I said, I'm hoping to do more videos like this, so let me know again if you like these videos, and I will definitely make it a priority to visit as many of these places as possible and to make videos about them. So yeah, that's all I have for this week, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!